YouTube, I just talked to this GoPro for like seven minutes and uh, it wasn't on, it wasn't recording the whole time. How did I not notice? I don't know. Anyways, here's what's up. Um, I'm taking three months off. Me and my wife are gonna travel for a couple of those months, but for the next month or so, I'll be parting Jeeps out full time uh, to, to bolster our bank account because I quit my job. Um, so, thought I'd give y'all an update on everything right now, and then I'm peacing out for three months. So, Tom Fuckery Project. All right, just did a slip yoke eliminator kit on this, um, but my, so my lower adjustable control arms, all I have are lower adjustables and they're brought, I've got them as short as possible and the angle just still a little bit off. Um, so I'm gonna order some upper control arms for that adjustable for the rear so I can uh, get a little more adjustability out of that and get that yoke pointed the direction it needs to go. Um, I'm about to put the side steps back on. I had plans to support those steps into the frame somehow, but uh, I'm not gonna do that until next year. Uh, and I don't know that I'll even need to do that. We'll see. What else? I'm gonna walk over here because I bought something new and I know uh, you guys are sick of all the shit I buy and sell, but this one I'm keeping. Boom, look at that thing. 1973 Land Rover Series 3, five door, 109. And next year, along with the Series 2 that's over there through the woods, um, we will be body swapping this onto something else because it is extremely rusty. It came from uh, Florida. It's got the Ferry Overdrive, Farley Overdrive, Fairly. I don't know, I don't know how to say it. Um, it's got a rebuilt diesel. It's got, uh, I don't know, rebuilt would be the right word, but refreshed axles. Somebody did some work to them for sure. Um, so I'm gonna part out a lot of this, hopefully make a lot of my money back, and then we'll be putting it, fingers crossed, on a uh, S10 4x4 frame. Um, I know a lot of you might think that's blasphemy, but I think that's the easiest way and the cheapest way to get an LS swapped 4x4 with Dana 44s. I'm basically gonna wait until a built S10 comes on the market for the right price that's already got a Dana 44 swap and an LS swap and just use that as a donor vehicle because I don't feel like doing all that work myself. And you save a lot of money when you uh, buy other people's old projects. So that's my plan. Um, we'll see how it works out. My original plan was to uh, put it on an extended YJ frame, which I have over here, which already has a Dana 44 front and a, a Detroit locked uh, 14 bolt rear. But uh, that's honestly, it's gonna be too much work. Uh, and the, the F10, the 80s model S10 has almost the same exact wheelbase. So I won't have to extend the frame. I won't have to do anything. It'll already be built. There's one right now that would be perfect. It's like $10,000. It's got an LS, got Dana 44 is already swapped. It's got a really nice body so I can make some money back on the body, but the timing's not right. I ain't got 10 grand to, to just throw away right now because I don't know if I mentioned this, I quit my job. Um, let's see, what else? We got uh, a couple YJs over there that I've been parting out and we've got, <sighs> I'm just running. I'm running over here to show you guys this dream car. Oh my goodness, look at that thing. Oh, found this. Cancel that. I'm probably gonna flip it. I don't like saying uh, saying how much I paid for stuff, so I'm not gonna tell you. Uh, so that jump cut was me telling you how much I paid and then taking it back because I'm selfish. And anyways, it's an extremely good condition for what it is, and if you don't know what it is, fuck off. We don't need you here, all right? It's a four-wheel drive Toyota Tercel 1985 automatic with push button, four-wheel drive, runs so good. Original 13-inch wheels, which uh, could use a repaint, but I bought new tires for it, $130 for all four tires, because they're 13-inch, oh, cheap, cheap, cheap. 
still has the original cargo cover in the back. Hatch pops open, no problem. Look at that cargo cover. Oh, man. Bomb ass, period correct seat covers. I have the one for the box seat. I just took it off to make sure everything was in good condition. Ah. Anyways, it's for sale, but also I'm daily driving it right now. And uh, I like it, I like it a lot. So I'm not gonna come down on the price. I'm selling it for $4,000 if anybody's interested. It's in Tennessee, uh, around Nashville. So if you're interested, hit me up. Uh, you guys have seen the Defender. The LJ is for sale um because we have too many cars and uh as much as i love it i love the defender more even though it's in worse condition and it's got rust bubbles and uh you know gets better gas mileage though that's for sure it's a diesel and um when i sell the lj i'll be using those funds for these other builds i think that's it um i'm about to get to work on the toyota and if you stayed with me this whole time, you're probably one of one of my 13 followers. 13, we're growing. Peace.